Natasha from Missy Canada. You look amazing, and your wife looks amazing, too. You. Do you want to wait until she joins us? She's, oh, no, no. She's going to... Her, her work is done. <laughs> <laughs> and she is working it. Uh, okay, so let's talk about this film, obviously. Okay. Uh, you play a Canadian in, in a really serious type of film. I'm wondering, yeah. um, how did you go about portraying your character, and what made you want to sign on? Well, the first thing that got me hooked was just that the the man is not what he seems to be uh, off the top of the film. So that's always an interesting thing to be able to play and to be given that opportunity. And oh man, it's much quieter when yeah, she's not around. And then it was actually in speaking with Ruben and talking about how she saw the character and also her personal connection to to Syria and the backdrop of the story that it just it kept on getting more and more interesting the more and more I talked about it so I was happy to be able to actually happy for her to be able to work out the date so that I was able to join them. Oh, okay, so you were busy doing something else? Is that well, I was working on Fringe at the time and if it wasn't for Ruba being so sort of type A and strong as she is, uh, I, they wouldn't have been able to make the dates work. So it all, it's a little minor miracle that I got to make the movie. I mean, there's so many world, real world issues that are going on right now in Syria, and especially today, Angelina Jolie is there and she's helping the refugees again. And I'm just wondering, what do you think about all her work that she's done? Well, I think uh, all the work that she's done in her life, but particularly around Syria, not just her, but anybody who's involved, you know, Syria is an active war zone. So uh, is she in Syria or she's at the Turkish border? and? She's actually in Syria, in Syria. Uh, and in Jordan. So, obviously that's a huge personal risk, and I think by lending her name and credibility to give it a human face, you can only help. And I don't know that right now there's any answer to that problem. I mean, unfortunately, Syria is coming apart at the seams, and it's going to have to probably fall apart to be put together back or back together again. So. You know, as much as anybody can to shed attention or, or shed light and bring attention, I think is important. But unfortunately, it's one of those situations that has to play out before then the international community can come in and try and help make what is already bad not any worse. All right, we're going to lighten the mood up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> you're here in TIFF. You're back at the Toronto Film Festival. It's kind of become a ritual for you. So what do you do when you're back in town? Well, sadly, this time is extremely brief. I got in last night at 2 a.m. I'm leaving tonight at 10. Wow. Yeah, so no time for play. No time for play this time, but uh, it is a pretty good time up here, the festival. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and each year is its own beast, which is kind of the fun of it. I was going to ask you if it was date night tonight, but is there no date night? <laughs> I, I am. In fact, I'm about the worst date you could possibly have because immediately after uh, dinner and a show, I'm leaving. Oh. <laughs> well, you get you take the time that you can, right? Yeah. yeah. No, we've had good times this summer. We've had plenty of time, but now work is starting. Yeah. So you're going to be very busy this fall? I'm busy. She's got a movie that she's starting in a couple of weeks, three weeks here. So it'll be a busy fall into winter, but then come January, we're both free again. Okay. And i got to ask you, everyone always wants to know, any chance or even any consideration of a Dawson's Creek reunion? <laughs> I would say the chances are pretty slim. Never say never, but I would say it's pretty slim. <laughs> 